Hi, I'm Joshua Finn from j &H Aerospace, and this is our trimming video on the 2020 Super Protégé. So we're doing this outside. I was planning on doing it uh, indoors, but I kind of got impatient and figured, hey, you know, we'll just go through this. Um, the There's a very detailed video we did last season for this airplane, for the old Protégé, and the trimming techniques are the same. So I figure if you want to look at optimizing for a ceiling height, that video is pretty definitive. It's quite long, um, so I don't think I can really build on that a whole lot. So we're out here, um, let's see, what's the elevator looking like? Uh, I did add some up elevator to get a good glide going last night. Um, that was in our, in our build video for it. And... It's still gliding nicely. Uh, turns a bit on the wide side, so we'll see how that works. So we have, I'm using our precision launcher that we've got this year, the uh, deluxe version with the uh, trigger release and whatnot. So we're operating uh, straight off the bat using uh, that device. Okay, um, I think the glide is maybe a little nose heavy, I'm not sure. Uh, the big thing is that we hooked off pretty hard to the left. I didn't use a huge amount of bank, so I think that I actually need to wash out this um, left wing a touch more. And then we need to add some flap camber back in to compensate for that. Uh, and we'll also give it a touch more left rudder, so those adjustments are kind of fighting each other, but I want to get that flat left turn going in, on in the glide. Uh, it's still turning a bit wide for a lot of your indoor sights. Okay, so um, that that flight it just went up and it stalled and, and came in. Now that was because I didn't use enough bank, but I noticed something. I don't know if you noticed the descent was just straight like this. It never pulled out, and that means that we need some up elevator, as we want the airplane to gradually tend to pull out. We may have to add a touch of nose, of nose weight to compensate. We'll find out here in a minute. You gonna change your bank and cool? Um, I'm not actually paying attention to that, but I am at using. I'm tilting it over more, so. Okay. There we go. That looks very nice. Okay, so what we notice the airplane is very. The air is not extremely calm out here. There is some air movement, and the airplane is not stalling at all. So I'm actually going to take a little bit of clay off. Um, now, optimum gliding is not necessarily right on the edge of a stall, so you don't want to just try to make it mush too much. Um, but I think we are flying a little on the nose-heavy side. Um, other than that, the launch looked great. I will say that was probably a little flat of a launch. So we're not getting any exceptional height here. Let's see, and I do have my stopwatch configured here. Oop. I don't know what I've done wrong, but I've done something wrong. I think I must have gotten it wrapped around there. Alright, 
too much bank that time. Still no stalling. I'm actually going to try adding just a tiny bit more up trim. So all I'm doing is we're just creasing the trailing edge of the stab a little bit right there. Don't need too much. Just a teensy bit. Never mind the diesel can back there. like to get a little bit more launch height out of it so actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up this rubber band by just tying another knot in here because we're not getting exceptional launch height for this plane at the moment and those of you that flew the super protégés last season remember they took a lot of pull to get them out Much better. And straight into the burn pile. I'll try one more. It is not dead calm out here, I know that much. Tail keeps getting blown off here. Still falling off to the left more than I'd like, so I'm going to take another round of that. Uh, adding uh, wing twist to that left wing and that does remove effectively remove some up elevators so I'm going to add in a tiny bit of it Well, that, that adjustment was effective. Alright, I'm going to try just adding some more bank angle instead of spiraling down the thing of adding, well, more rudder and more wash and so on. So we'll do that. And there we go. Perfect. Wow. That's fun. Giant wind gust just hit and uh, brought a downdraft. I want to try and get one more flight off. The uh, conditions are changing and that's not a good thing. Alright, so that was 20 seconds. Alright, so, um, I'd like to show you more footage, but the conditions are deteriorating here as far as it's, it's getting breezy. I, there's, there's some storms in the area, and there's, you know, we had a window where maybe we could trim a little bit, and that's the best we're getting for this evening. Um, 
but I've covered everything as far as the flight trim. You've got that the airplane is going up, transitioning into a glide, and it's a good glide. So you can tune in from there. Um, and again, we have a video that will be we'll link in the description for trimming the uh, last year's version of this airplane. And the trimming process is, is exactly the same for, um, you know, it's, it's the same basic design. All of the principles apply. Um, and, and you can trim any flap glider really that way. So, somebody has a flat tire, fun times. Um, so, questions, comments, uh, put them in the comments section below. I will, uh, I will mention again, this airplane, I did not use the best wood on it. Um, I just used, grabbed some kind of cruddy 1 16th to build this out of, so it's a little heavy. So, the transition is a little bit sloppier and whatnot. The lighter you can get these, the uh, the better the transition will be. I didn't sand the wings down super thin. You can sand this wood down to, literally to 1 32nd inch thick and it'll still fly quite well. We've done that with several. In fact, the uh, um, if I'm not mistaken, Eric Lim's uh, sixth place plane from last, uh, from well from this year's uh, national championship, I think he sanded down pretty heavily. Uh, to get the weight off, and, and that gave him very nice snappy transitions. So, um, those are just some things to consider about the airplane. And like I said, uh, questions, comments, comment section below. The plane is currently available and shipping on our website. We even have the nice uh, earplug foam bumpers on these. So, uh, it should be a very enjoyable airplane for you to fly. And um, hope you have a good time flying these, and we'll see you at the contests. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J and H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.